touristic season in Luxor is very prosperous this year. Tourists from all over the world come here to visit all the monuments of Luxor, especially Karnak Temple behind me. It's built over 200 acres over 2,000 years of time. So when you come to visit Luxor, you ought to come and visit Karnak Temple. Behind the third pylon, there is an open square court where King Tutmosis I erected two obelisks. They are the obelisks that existed in front of the fourth pylon, which in his time was the entrance of Karnak. Later, King Tutmosis III erected two other obelisks in the same court. Today, only one obelisk remains in its place, and the others were taken out of the country. The remaining obelisk belongs to Tutmosis I. It's 21.3 meters high and 143 tons. The inscriptions cover three sides of the obelisk. The middle one belongs to Tutmosis I and the other two were added later by King Ramesses IV. There are scenes that represent Ramesses II on the base. these magnificent buildings that lie behind the third pylon go back to the flourishing period when Egypt was a conqueror force and the cities of the Far East were either submissive to its ruling or appealing to its friendship. To appreciate the greatness of Karnak during the prosperous time of the new kingdom, we need to imagine that this great third pylon constructed by Amenophis III who was one of the most splendid pharaohs of Egypt, was a western golden facade of this great temple. <laughs> 